In an exclusive interview with this newsroom, successful business entrepreneur Justin Parker said the shareholding deal signed by the government on Thursday, October 28, 2021, with an Australian company is unfair and not in the interest of the country. He said the deal is worse than any other deals signed by the government as the contract is not announcing take-back PNG but foreigners asking for exclusivity for 75 years with an option to another 25 years. He stressed that in terms of ownership, this proposed bill will make Papua New Guineans slaves on their own land. In that agreement, you know, we are going to make laws where we will forbid every other Papuans from getting involved in this industry and any players except them and they'll have exclusivity for 60 years and then renewal every 30 years at their discretion. And there's no exit clause for the PNG government. There's no exit clause at all. And that's the scary part, you know. So 60 years, you know, that's a lot. And then nobody else is allowed to buy gold. Or, or, or export gold, like people like myself and other Papua Guineans that are in the industry already. He urged the government not to ignore Papua New Guineans from growing their business within the country. They've asked us to make laws to protect them. You know, they want immunity from prosecution. And they will control the board to which we have agreed. And they will control the board. And they are immune from any prosecution, from any wrong, wrongdoing, even if they run this business down. And we had to compensate them for any losses, even if they make the mistakes. You know, it doesn't make sense. It, it's, it's really frightening, you know. And, 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 and with that, you know, looking at every Papua New Guinea, you know, we've also agreed that we would not um, peg the price in any place. We can't, we can't dictate to them what price they should pay. So they would pay at will. So go back and look at every grassroots. You know, I am here because of the simple grassroots that work gold. You know, they dig gold. They deserve the best price. Prime Minister James Marape had said during the signing of the agreement in 2021 that the project will put Papua New Guinea on the world gold map, so it is rightfully recognized in both gold mining and gold refining industries and in global prices, metals and financial markets as one of the world's most important gold producing countries. However, Mr. Parker believes otherwise. For the life of the contract, they will only be paying 10% corporate tax. 10% corporate tax. And there, will be, there won't be any other tax applicable to them. You know, how do you do that to your own people? 10%. You know, I pay 35% corporate tax. Everybody else pays 35%. And now they've increased that to 42%. But for them, they've agreed and signed the contract that they'll, have, uh, 10, they'll only pay 10% uh, corporate tax for the life of the project. And the life of the project is, is for eternity, if you look at it. And how do you expect us to make money and take back PNG? Where is take back PNG in this? Where is it? You know? This is packaging PNG and selling it. This is the complete opposite of take back PNG. He is now banking on the members of parliament not to support the bill and understand its implications if passed. Freddie Mo, TV One News.